Well, it's a fine Friday, and we have received some packages. Thank goodness, I'm glad to see them. And uh, we've got some stuff here from Amazon, and I think that was really awesome. And uh, we got here, got this package here from Amazon Fulfillment Services. Oh, that's great. It's got a little smirk on it. Let me open this thing up. One handed again. So, this is one of two things I've gotten to, you know. What the heck? I was get some. It's always good when you get some new tools here. Just get these papers out of the way. All right, jump. Get this out of here. Get up here. Automotive. Bleed kit. Really, this thing's like a stick. There's like a whole line of sticky. There we go. We're going to get rid of that. Toss it. There we go. So we got ourselves a mighty vac hand pump, basically a vacuum pump, which is cool. So we're going to need. It's got a lot of little adapters in it and stuff for breeding the uh, bleeding, the not breeding the bla brakes or bleeding the blakes but bleeding the brakes and doing vacuum testing and uh, oh, fluid transfer, huh? Hmm. Also, it's good for uh, power steering, but I had to get this other kit here and I got to figure out how to tear this open while uh, trying to again, trying to do things one-handed. It's got, a, oh, it's got another little plastic bag in it. Oh, it's just gonna. Oh, I didn't know this. Goodbye. Bye. Anyway, it's a little messy. Got to do some cleanup. Don't know if I'll do a video on that. That's kind of boring. But got a lot of stuff here. That's been accumulating car parts, all sorts of stuff, chromey mirrors, you know, whole mess. So this is. Let's see here. Now I got this thing wrapped. Hmm. Never easy, is it? I think that's why people like Amazon so much. It's kind of like Christmas. You know? You're gifting yourself constantly. <laughs> anyway. Laugh at my own laugh at my own jokes here. So, this is a power steering evac kit. Now it does not come with the pump. But, let's see how it flames here, I guess. This is by Lyle. Oh, not too shabby. It's kind of like my, uh, my uh, tubing flanging kit. Kind of nice. So it's got another reservoir for fluid. If you're bleeding something, comes with a handy. These are the things I'm looking for. See these guys right here? These are the guys I'm looking for, the rubber stoppers. And those I can wedge down into my power steering reservoir and use that to create a vacuum. And that's neat. It's got all these nice little elbow adapters and everything. So that's that's good. This set me back probably about like 30 bucks, 30 some odd dollars. The uh, the other kit was a little more expensive because it comes with the actual uh, vacuum device. That was around 50. 46 bucks. So, you know, for about 70 bucks, yeah, I wound up getting two decent tools and uh, I'll be able to keep them to add onto my collection because I'm, I'm going to be bleeding the brakes as well because, as you know, one of the things I did tease on, I was going to replace the front uh, brake lines, those uh, flex lines that always seem to go and it, they're original. They're 30 some odd years old, so they need to get replaced. So that's what I'm going to do. It was weird, just the camera just shut off. Anyways, so that's what I got going on here. I'm trying to see how this works here. Hopefully, it doesn't pop the cap off of the system. But I can hear stuff percolating through the lines here. 
See how I've got a slowly dropping 12 pounds. There's my stopper on top of my reservoir. And I notice there's like, there's like, I don't know, I must have spilled stuff around this container. I'm going to clean that up with some uh, brake cleaner or something and get that going. So it, it drops down to like 11 pounds. But you know the thing, the cap is just sitting on top of this thing. And it's only stuck on because of the vacuum that I've generated by this mini vac or mighty vac or whatever you want to call it, mini vac hand pump. Give myself a workout here. I'm trying to wait till it stabilizes a little bit. Definitely getting, I can hear pops and gurgles inside the reservoir. But it stays, it eventually stays stable at about 11 pounds pressure. Which means there's no major leak in the system. At least I hope not. And this should be sucking out all of the, um, the air out of the hydro boost system and the power steering system. So I'm going to let this, I'm going to free this up here in a couple minutes. In the meantime, uh, let that go there. And uh, like I said, I got my keys here. And we're going to start her up real quick. I got some fresh gas for her too, which I'm going to use. Oof. Let's get her going there. It might pop the little cap off of the vacuum cap off of there but that's okay Ooh. Ooh, that, just got, that was me being an idiot flipping the key real quick and not holding it down so don't it's just I just flipped it too quick and didn't let it go meanwhile this appears to be holding pressure steering I'm going to make sure I top it off but again it's going back down to about 12 to 11 pounds vacuum which is fine but let's see what happens when we turn the uh, wheel and such <sighs> Ooh, it's a little worse than it was last time. Might have to put more fluid in the system. Check the brakes here. Ooh. That was worse than before. <laughs> Let that be for a little bit. Oof. Check the fluid level. And it's still holding vacuum. Let's see what happens when we pop it. Oh. Right off. Now let's put this in here. Pretty reasonable. Now we pull the vacuum pump off to pull all the air out. Let's see what happens now that we got the regular cap on. 
Still making some noise. Ooh. Hmm. Still gotta bleed the hydro boost system somehow. But we'll keep working on it. Said it sounded a little bit better yesterday before I did this. But again, it definitely sounds like there's air in the system when it does that. So let's see if we can get some more air out of the system. Who knows? show you of course the lights on but this is power steering fluid which is old power steering fluid and it's got a bunch of particulates in it uh, rust bits who knows little chunks of dirt that's what I pulled out of the power steering and I put in clear power steering fluid which is pretty much what power steering fluid is when it's new so yeah definitely uh, back in here and we have bled the power steering. I have done about half of the plug wires, you can see down there. Got rid of those crazy 10 millimeter blue crazy ones going back to more conventional ones. Which I had sitting on the seat, which I'm going to redo. So I have my effort to get this engine running a little better. But uh, yeah, so the uh, brake pedal is definitely a lot firmer still have to and the steering itself although it's still squeaking a little bit because I'm sitting still it's better than it was but uh, definitely need to tighten up that belt with a new belt probably because that belt's probably worn and uh, Make sure that in here is working okay. In here, oops, I get my finger out of the light. Still got a little bit of that, a little bit of a, what call it backfire. But definitely a hesitation near backfiring out of the tailpipe but uh, the brakes here oh. yeah oh. oh brake line uh oh what's going on there I don't know if I'd like that Brakes got a lot spongier just all of a sudden. They're real good. Ugh. That's not good. Don't want a brake to be pushing that like that. Okay, now. Now I'm gonna be looking under here to see if I pull in a brake line or something. That's gonna suck. <laughs> Looks like I got something sprayed over there on the rail. Oh man, that's gonna really. Well, I guess I was gonna redo the brake line pretty soon, right? Oh, it looks like I got something going on over there on the on the passenger side tire. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Looky that. That's no good. Just had a whole bunch of crap spray. You know, Mark, I gotta tell you from the heart of RV, you gotta keep your drama of the breakdown stuff to yourself. Crazy. Oh, look at that. Something blew. Because let me tell you, I pushed on it and with shoom and the, the pedal drop, as we say. You can see here. Oh. That's not looking too good. Oh boy. Let's go take a look at that. Why not? Because it's not like I don't have enough to do in this rig. Well, let me get my key undone here. See, there's the brake light. Hey, stupid, you got something wrong with your brakes, dummy. Yeah, thanks. Okay, all is quiet now. Let's see if I can get my foot my foothold somewhere down here. Let's get back up at the top again. There we go. Got my butt out. Let's go take a look and see what went kaboom just now. Ay ay ay. Sunday night. There's the tire. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go take a look here. Someone went kaflooey. Wonder what went kaflooey. Because I'm telling you, oh, look at this. It's like all over the place, all over the tire tread. Something got sprayed out all over here on the upper part. What the heck? Oh man. I'm trying to get my myself around here somewhere. Is this it? How much you want to bet that's it? See the little little hole there? Hold on, let's see if I can focus on it. See that right there? How much you want to bet that blew up just now? And spray crap all over the tire here, which is where I am. Hi folks. Look at all that brake fluid. All over there and the ricocheted over here so and then down on the ground holy cow and spray down the, the top here so I'm thinking that's what happened oh there's some spider eggs there great so yeah so I'm glad I have those uh, front brake lines. Ugh, there we go. Brake fluid. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice to happen on a Sunday night. You know, something to do for next weekend. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyways. Uh, okay, well. So much for that. I guess I'm going to be doing the front brake lines a little sooner than I had anticipated. Well, it's a good thing that I bought two of these about a month or so ago, isn't it? My goodness. Glad to have them. So now I'm going to be replacing my front brake lines a little sooner than I had thought. But hey, another weekend, another repair job. Thanks for watching. Happy, safe, and healthy RVing, folks. And uh, like I said, next video, brake job, brake lines. I like it stuff and bleeding the brake lines. Isn't that wonderful? <sighs> Anyways, I need to get to bed.